What's up travelers? In this video, we're going there, the Step Pyramid of Dozier. Hey, what's up travelers? I want to let you guys know that I published a coloring book. Uh, it's based off of photographs that I took while I was in Egypt during this series. I put a whole lot of work into it. Check out these photos, uh, some of the pages there. Again, I put a lot of work into it. There is a link down in the description to where you can go pick one up. I hope you do. It was a lot of fun making it. it wasn't so much fun publishing it. <laughs> it's a really kind of a pain, but I went through it and I got it published and hopefully you guys like it. So yeah, check it out. The Step Pyramid Complex built by King Dozier circa 2700 BC. This is the largest known pyramidal funerary complex in Saqqara. It is considered the first large scale stone construction in history and an important phase in the evolution of royal tomb conception towards a full pyramid shape. The complex is surrounded by an external 10 meter high stone wall and includes 10 architectural elements, the entry courtyard, the court of columns composed of 40 columns in two rows, the open courtyard, the 60 meter high step pyramid in the center, which is the first ever pyramid built, the southern tomb, the house of the south, and the house of the north, the courtyard of the Hebsed, and its chapels the funerary temple, and the shaft room. The step pyramid was entered for the first time in 1821 by a man named Heinrich von Minutoli. The first excavations of the step pyramid funerary complex began in 1924 and lasted until 1935 by then architect Jean-Philippe Lauer, who then dedicated his life from 1926 to 2001, working to protect, conserve, study, document, and restore the funeral complex of King Dozier. Behind me is the Step Pyramid, or the Pyramid of Dozier. This is the absolute first pyramid that we know about that was built. We're pretty sure it's the very first pyramid because it was built Originally it was a mastaba. Prior to the pyramids, it's what they built it was these big flat uh, buildings that were meant to be the tomb. But then Dozier wanted something more than that, so they started stacking more mastabas on top of each other. This is what we got. Uh, the architect's name was M. Hotep, and because he built this and quite a bunch of other stuff around, he started being known as a god in the Egyptian culture and we are getting ready to go inside which is pretty cool because I was here in 2015 yeah 2015 and it wasn't open to the public for people to go inside because they were still doing restoration work so I'm pretty excited about that but let's check out some of this other stuff before we get to the entrance
So lucky for us, we get to see what some of the original casing stones looked like here. Nice and flush and flat and I imagine at one point they were even shiny. I think, you know, this is close to 5,500 years old, maybe even older than that. And uh, we still have a little bit of a remnants of it to kind of get an idea of what this building looked like before it went to ruin. I bet it was absolutely beautiful. These are really cool. They're they're uh, very unique. Usually, when you see columns anywhere in ancient Egypt, they are round. But as you can see, these ones actually come to a point. They're rounded, but they come to a point. And I think I haven't seen any of these anywhere else in Egypt when I've been here. Just here is really kind of cool and then they've got the lotus flower on top but they're not quite as intricate and carved out more than likely because well these are some of the earliest examples of the stone carving but we got the rest of this temple here whatever it was uh, not sure exactly what it was just yet however there is a sign here that will tell us exactly what it was but if you look up towards the top of this well this column is more like what you see around the rest of Egypt but up here we got these little uh, like spearheads carved into the stone and it's kind of cool Okay, so this is the Pavilion of the North.
So we have found the north entrance to the pyramid. I don't think we're allowed to go down there. My ticket is supposed to be for the south entrance. Got to go way deep down there to get in there. <laughs> way off in the distance over there. Let's see a few more pyramids. Coming around this corner here. that pyramid was family member more than likely and there's our entrance right there I don't know how they are about people recording in here just yet. Hopefully they'll let us in with the camera and that'll be great. But until then I'm just gonna go ahead and put this phone in my pocket and then we're gonna go inside. can actually walk in this one <laughs> the great pyramid you got to <laughs> kind of duck waddle still kind of tight if you're if you're tall <laughs> That's really down in there. It's cool they got some some wood up in there. And there's Jojer's sarcophagus down there. And now we're headed out. Well, that's been uh, the tour of the Saqqara Step Pyramid of Dozier. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe. If you like videos about travel and cool tourist destinations and, of course, the food, because this is tasting travel, and then go ahead and hit that notification bell so YouTube lets you know whenever I upload a new video. And, as always, 
do cool things. <laughs> yeah, that's a new one. I've never said that one on here before. <laughs> All right, everybody. I will see you in the next one.